um, you know, you got to think that if something like that were to come about, that the right people have put a lot of thought yeah. into it. Um, it's not something I've given a great deal of thought I to. I have. Because it's nothing I've had to concern myself with. Yeah. Okay, how about another one? Okay. Since you're sitting on the fence. Oh, big time. The, the netting. When the puck hits the netting and falls on the ice, how's about not blowing the whistle? Just keep playing. That's a possibility. You know, sometimes it just drops. Sometimes it comes off like a slingshot, which could make the game pretty interesting. Um, you know, the fact of the matter is it's in the playing surface. If that net's there for purpose, yeah. it's, the, it's to keep the, game, the puck in the, in the, in the right. playing surface. So I think there's something to that. Uh, I think what you'd have to do is make sure that the netting itself is, is uniform in terms of its tautness. Uh, from rink to rink, yeah. and unfortunately, that isn't always the case. But I think they should just let. We need less whistles in that game. It's a, it's a really. I think do. the game is in is in as good a shape as it's been in a long, oh, long yeah. time, because of some of the rule changes, without a doubt, because of outstanding coaching. Yeah. Um, but honestly, it, 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 the, the youth playing the game right now is outstanding. Hey, how Players hard how hard did you guys try to get uh, Bowmeister? Uh, we, we pursued it to the degree that we thought we could, but, uh, you know, we're right up against the salary cap. Oh, already? We don't no got no good players yet. We don't know that. Huh. We've got a, good, a real good group of young players. And yeah, I know guys that. And that are anxious to make things right. Yeah. So we're out of loot? Oh, right up what if we got Heatley? Would some guys have to go? Well, that's why he's making oh, the Oh, three right? guys. Yeah, okay. Okay, so what do you do all summer here, mostly? Well, I don't spend a great deal of time here. I'm uh, trying to relax a little bit, and as much as I was relieved of my duties in February, it was still yeah. pretty intense spring and, and summer, you know, uh, getting things corrected, if you will, and moving three houses and cleaning them up and getting them ready and all that kind of stuff. So it's been pretty intense. And now, well, within the last six weeks, I've been busy, you know, getting our team ready and myself and Pat ready to kind of go to war. So it's been a good opportunity to take a break. It's a great part of the world. There's no question about that. Right. I wouldn't be here. Um, so, you know, try to get some R&R, &R, but uh, spend time with my family, try to golf a little bit, uh, appreciate the good things. My parents are two and a half hours away, and, and they're getting on, so I want to make sure that as close as I am now that I make good use of my time right. visiting them. Yeah. Too. How yeah. is Cuddle well, Golf in Caslo? I've never golfed there, as a matter of oh, fact. Nice. I drive by there when I see it. Okay, here's your official invitation. Okay. You should come. All right. Yeah, hey. In my county, though. Okay. Yeah, better, better than... You don't have to wear a leaf paraphernalia. <laughs> it's paraphernalia, not paraphernalia. <laughs> hey, just one other thing. Glenn, how was it with Glenn Sather? Outstanding. Good man. Great GM. Uh, real fair. Uh, let me do my job. Right. Uh, didn't interfere. Uh, you know, how would you not want to tap into that wisdom and experience anyway? Uh, one of the great guys of my life. Yeah, well, that's good. Yeah. You're not sour at him that he gassed no. you. Does he smoke cigars or just hang them out of he his mouth? He the crap out of Yeah, them. you ever they seen any smoke come oh, out of one of them? Once oh, yeah. When he's on the golf course. Yeah, so it's all yeah. good. Anyhow, if you ever, uh, the Ca you must have heard of the Caslow Burners, uh, our old-timers team. Yeah, I can't say that I have, but oh, yeah. Do you ever come here in the wintertime? No, uh, oh, Einstein. No, I don't, but you know what? Well, no. I'm just wondering, maybe <laughs> no, a day or something. it's a good question, something? because during the Olympic break, we think we might come here and spend oh. the Olympic break here. <laughs> maybe so, you could come. We have an arena, right? Yeah, you do. And I'm sure, like, it would be really great. Because you know how it is here in small towns with yep. kids, and we don't have enough kids, sure. and you, every team you're struggling to yep. get the numbers. Yep. And sure, yeah. I think it would be super, super great if you Just showed up. Dates, and if you keep your phone, my phone number to yourself, then don't yeah. share it with anybody, then no, I might be won't. able to help you. Well, if the Oilers make Good. the playoffs, we'll keep her quiet. Otherwise, we're going to No way, we're coming. <laughs> Especially when the Oilers come play Toronto. Or but Toronto anyhow. Well, thanks a lot for doing this. It was uh, it was no good to get you finally on yeah, here. You thanks a lot. Really good. Thank you yeah, very you much. Betcha.